Mm. In physics, we often convert between potential and kinetic energies. But there are other types, lots of other types of conversions that we can use. Take this chocolate bar, for example. It says here on the wrapper that there are 1,160,000 joules of food energy in this candy bar. It also says that's 275 calories. Now, if I eat this chocolate bar, I can convert this food energy into, say, potential energy from climbing a mountain. Give this calculation a try on your own. If I eat these 1,160,000 joules of candy, how high do I need to climb to burn off that energy? Assume I weigh 90 kilos. Once you have your answer, click on, mm, click on your answer to jump to the solution. Don't forget to pause while you're doing your work so that you can select the right answer. Hmm. Now I'll get this thing finished in the meantime while you work. Mm. Mm. Oh. According to my calculation, I'll need to ascend 1,314 meters high. That's just over 1.3 kilometers. I'll stop the treadmill once I've ascended to that height or have burned that 1.16 million joules, whichever comes first. So now, which do you think will happen first? Will I reach that height? Will I burn that many calories first? Or will both happen at the same time? Um, select your answer over here. And once you have that, we'll get going on to the next portion. Just about there. Well, I only reached a height of 430 meters once I had finally burned up all that candy energy. That's only, that works out to 366,000 joules worth of energy, or 32% of that candy energy that was actually converted into potential energy. One would think that if energy was conserved, both the potential energy from the climb and the calories burned would have been reached at the same time. What do you think happened? Take a look at some of the footage again. Here I'm hot and I'm dripping with sweat and all around all gross. Part of the energy from that candy bar went into that gross overheated sweat stuff and some of it went into the climb. In other words, some of it was converted into waste energy. So instead of a formula that shows chocolate energy in equals potential energy out, we need one that includes this waste energy. Something like chocolate energy in equals potential energy plus waste energy. See, energy was still conserved. Some of it was just changed into less useful forms like heat. Whew. I am never eating candy again. One million joules. Whew. So are you wondering how I knew when to stop the treadmill? Give this challenge question a try and don't forget to subscribe.